This is Democracy Now! I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We turn now to a scandal at President Trump's favorite TV channel, Fox News, where the lead writer for Tucker Carlson Tonight, the most popular cable news show in history, has resigned for posting disturbing racist and misogynist messages to an online forum under a pseudonym for years. Black Neff, uh, Blake Neff stepped down Friday after CNN broke the story that he'd posted multiple racist messages on the website Auto Admit, mocking and degrading African Americans, Asian Americans, and women contributing to threads that use the N word. On his show Monday night, Tucker Carlson announced he too, well, he is going on vacation for the rest of the week after he addressed the controversy. Blake fell short of that standard, and he has paid a very heavy price for it. But we should also point out to the ghouls now beating their chests in triumph for the destruction of a young man that self-righteousness also has its costs. We are all human. For more, we go to Matt Gertz. He is senior fellow at Media Matters, where he focuses on the relationship between Fox News and the Trump administration. Matt, welcome to Democracy Now! Talk about the significance of the chief writer for Tucker Carlson, again, the most popular cable show in U.S. history, him being forced to resign. Well, I'll let uh, Fox's executives uh, do a little of the talking for me. They, uh, over the weekend, in a memo to their staff, uh, condemned him for horrendous and deeply offensive racist, sexist, and homophobic comments. Uh, that's uh, too racist, sexist, and homophobic, homophobic for Fox News, which uh, takes quite a lot. I mean, I think it's not surprising that a scandal like this has broken on Tucker Carlson's show. Uh, Blake Neff was uh, being crudely bigoted uh, in his free time on this uh, message board, uh, but his day job has been providing a uh, copy for Tucker Carlson's more sophisticated bigoted show. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I think it was really only a matter of time until something like this happened. Uh, Tucker Carlson's uh, Daily Caller website has had a series of these scandals. Blake Neff came to uh, Tucker uh, Carlson's show uh, from there, uh, you know, during a—he was hired during a period in which uh, Carlson was uh, managing that website. Uh, I think that this is a, a big problem for Fox News. It's incredibly uh, damaging to its advertisers, certainly, uh, to be associated with a program uh, like Carlson's. Uh, we we can hear you, Juan. Uh, Juan. Uh, yes, uh, I, I wanted to to ask uh, in terms of the the impact on Fox News. It's been one scandal after another on Fox News, whether it's uh, uh, Bill O'Reilly, obviously before him. In terms of the uh, the following of Fox News, it doesn't seem to have much impact in terms of people who watch their so-called news shows. Fox News has a business model problem. Uh, there are two ways uh, Fox makes, a, makes money. One is off of its viewers. Uh, they get a big audience, and then they can sell uh, advertising against that audience. The way that they attract the audience is with bigoted commentary. It's with red meat, uh, you know, Republican talking points. Uh, it's by creating a space for uh, the hard right uh, movement in this country. Uh, but advertisers don't really like that, uh, because inevitably it leads to blow-ups like this. Uh, it gets them in trouble, uh, and then they start fleeing. Tucker Carlson's show at this point, uh, is a, its advertiser blocks are a wasteland. Uh, it's uh, promos for other Fox uh, content, uh, and then uh, advertisements for My Pillow, which is a, a product uh, run by a Republican businessman. Um, and so, you know, Fox is leaving a lot of money on the table because of this. Uh, and I think in the long run, uh, it's going to be quite damaging to them. They don't really have a way out of this. Uh, they keep getting caught in this cycle of, uh, you know, one scandal after another. Matt the Gertz, in the last is, is seconds we have, can you talk about the relationship between Tucker Carlson and overall Fox and President Trump? So often you hear Tucker Carlson's words, who um, uh, Blake Neff had boasted he was always the first draft of anything Tucker Carlson would say, end up in a tweet of President Trump. 
Yeah, uh, Tucker Carlson is now one of the most powerful uh, media figures in America, and that's because uh, President Trump is part of his audience. Trump watches a ton of Fox News. He frequently uh, lives tweets the segments that he uh, takes a shine to. He also gets advice from Fox hosts directly. Uh, and more often than not, recently, that's been Tucker Carlson, uh, from uh, strikes against Iran to the coronavirus to, more recently, uh, his uh, attacks on Black Lives Matter and protests. Uh, Tucker Carlson's commentary is shaping uh, the president's responses to uh, the events that are happening around us. It's very dangerous. I want to thank you, Matt Gertz, for being with us. Now, uh, Tucker Carlson says he's gone trout fishing. Matt Gertz is senior fellow at Media Matters. We'll link to your latest piece. Tucker Carlson has said enough. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay safe.